Ukrainian officials are preparing to present the White House with a list of targets in Russia that the military could hit if Washington lifts restrictions on the use of U.S. long-range weapons. As political rights, Ukraine is using the list as a last-ditch effort to persuade Washington to lift restrictions on U.S. weapons use in Russia. While Ukraine has previously provided the U.S. with some of its potential targets in Russia, this list is intended to be more detailed. Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustem Umarov and head of the presidential office Andriy Yermak will be in Washington this week and plan to present the list to the administration during talks, three people familiar with the matter said. The U.S. has said for months that lifting the restrictions would make no strategic difference in the war because Russia has moved its most important targets, including aircraft, away from the border. But Kyiv has identified several important targets it could hit with U.S.-supplied missiles, the sources said. Ukraine hopes the list will boost its campaign to persuade President Joe Biden to change his tune. There should be no restrictions on the range of weapons for Ukraine, since terrorists have no such restrictions. Defenders of life should not have any restrictions on weapons, Zelensky said. Umerov and Yermak's visit to the United States comes as Ukraine continues its invasion of Russia's cursed border region and grapples with the aftermath of Moscow's massive missile strike on its power grid. Ukrainian officials have long lobbied the Biden administration to lift restrictions on U.S. weapons so their forces can more easily launch an offensive inside Russia and push Russian forces back from the border. The administration has said since the war began that it feared escalation following the move. While the escalation remains a concern, the Biden administration has recently emphasized its belief that there is no tactical advantage given that Russia is moving assets beyond the range of Ukraine's existing weapons. The administration also believes that Ukraine does not have enough tactical missile systems to hit high-value targets in Russia. Kyiv is using many of the missiles it has provided in its offensive operations in Crimea. It's a battle that is going well for Ukraine. The U.S. has a limited supply of ATA CMS that it can send to Ukraine. Pavel Durov, the founder and CEO of Telegram messaging app was arrested at the Bourget airport in Paris on Sunday. He arrived in Paris from Azerbaijan. Durov was in Azerbaijan's capital Baku this week, in the same period that Russian President Vladimir Putin paid an official visit to the South Caucasus Republic. The 39-year-old who has a French citizenship was traveling aboard his private jet during the arrest, TF1 said on its website. Durov might face charges related to terrorism, money laundering and drug trafficking. If convicted, he may face 20 years in prison. Offman, the national directorate of the French Judicial Police, had placed an arrest warrant on the businessman.